to my channel. If you could leave a like and a subscribe, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> um, okay. So I want to talk about emulators. So you're asking, what is the best emulator to use? Okay, so PPSSPP is good, and there is a regular version. I just only have, I have the gold version. This one is only PPSS, PPSX is for PlayStation 1 games. Now, this is why I use Lumeroid. Lumeroid is awesome because it's a multi-platforming. So this one can play up the butt. Look at this. This one you can play Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Linux, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Sega Game Gear, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, PlayStation Portable, Nintendo DS, PC Engine, and arcade games. And if you don't think it works, here's Lumeroid. Say I want to play PlayStation Portable, which is pretty hard to emulate on most games. Let's say I want to play Dissidia. Boom. Might I be too late? No, I have to make it. What? We know how this will end. completely awesome because <clears throat> I want to see what it looks like in for We know how this will end. <laughs> So, that's how you play those. Let's say you want to play a Sega game. It loads right up. It loads right up. Say you want to play Game Boy. Loads right up. Say so you want to play an old game like Atari. You want to play some Atari. Oh, you have to have BIOS for Atari. Never mind. Hey, okay, let's say you want to play some PC games. Works. Guys, go. Well, what we're gonna do is because the PSP game works, we're gonna come down here. I'm gonna show you how to do PSP. 
So you want to go all the way down to PlayStation Portable. Then you come here and go most downloaded. And because I've already been on all this, you want to go to, let's just go here. I've already seen all those. Okay. Works. Now let's find a game that's small, like uh, Dragon Ball Z. Okay, Dragon's Lair, let's search up every game that has dragon in it. So let's look up a game specifically. It's in here. I know it's in here. <coughs> Alright, let's look up something else. Let's see you want to play some Castlevania. Okay, so that's loading. So while that's while we're waiting, let's play some games. Let's go to let's play some ride in. Come on, game. Play some blades. Okay, so actually, let me go through this area. So you come in here, just look up emulators, and you got all these emulators. So let's go through these. So if you want to pay four bucks, you can get an all-in-one emulator, or you can just not pay four bucks and get Luminroid because it's free and it works perfectly for most games. Then you've got Dolphin, which is for GameCube and Wii games. You've got PSP, which is honestly, it's for PSP games, obviously. Uh, this one is for old, like, old, old games, like PS1 and stuff. Um, <clears throat> that's also an old game. But the ones you want to really look at is, this is a good one, if you like Super Nintendo. That's a very good one. This is a good one if you like Game Boy Advance. This is also a good Super Nintendo one. I've had it. Um, then you can do Drastic. You can pay five bucks for Drastic, or you can get this one. Which, yes, I know that it looks bad because it says free, but it's actually a really good app for Nintendo DS games. This is for PS2 games, but you do have to pay for it because PS2 is really hard to emulate. So only reason they make you pay for it, you got Nintendo 64. So if you want to play Mario 64, or Mario Kart, you can play it on there. Uh, Nostalgia, this is a regular NES. Nostalgia, they make really good emulators. So let's go to their site. They make really good emulators. So they've got one for Game Boy, Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advanced. Those guys are awesome at making emulators. Um, you got the Citro Air, Citra, but if you're going to get Citra, I would best, in my opinion, I would get it off of Google because you can actually get the newer version of Citra. That's for Nintendo 3DS games. 
Uh, if you see these, do not do these. They're scams. Um, this is an awesome app if you like Dreamcast, which I love Sega Dreamcast. It just only reason I don't have them on my phone is because they're very big games, but they're fun. Duck Station is another multi-platform emulator, which is pretty awesome. Or actually, I think that's PS1. Um, this is new for Nintendo DS. Haven't played it yet, so I don't know. That's new. Now, if you want to do like arcade games, you want to go, yeah? That's Atari. You want to go down to Dig. Dig, now Dig is just, like, I'll install it just to show you what it's like. But you need the emulators to have it. Actually, I'm not going to install it. So you basically need the emulators on the side, and this just runs as, like, a storage for your games. But the thing that I like about Lumeroid is that you don't need the emulators you just it has the emulators it has all the emulators in this app okay okay so now those are downloaded so now you want to come down here you want to download a app called C I Carver archiver you want to come down here you want to get your Castlevania game whatever you game you picked you want to press extract and I like keeping the screen turned on because sometimes when you don't keep the screen turned on and it finishes it corrupts your file and then you're gonna have to download it again and do it all over again <clears throat> Okay, now that that's downloaded, it'll have an ISO. You don't need this anymore, so delete that. And I'm also going to delete this and this because I don't need them. I have Sega on my other phone, so. Okay, so then you go here and you for. PSP games, if you have an SD card, you do have to do it this way or it won't read the file. So you go to download, go to Castlevania, go move to Android, ROMs folder, move. <clears throat> okay, then you wait for it to move. It'll move the file. It's got 20, 18, 10 seconds left. And because I'm recording a video, it's going to take a little bit longer, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, now that will go away. You want to wait until that moving files notification goes completely away. Sometimes you can do that, then go back to it. Do that, go back to it, and it, it'll go away sooner or later. Boom, there we go. Now you want to do this, and you want to exit out of every app you have. Go here, go to Lumeroid. Go back here, go to Rescan. Go to your PSP games. Castlevania just popped up right there. Pop in it to see if it works. Sometimes 
already works. So we'll get into the game real quick. Boom. Get to where it doesn't. Then you want to exit this. You want to exit the game and then restart it. Boom, there you go. Now it runs smooth, see? Boom, now that is the tutorial on how to download PSP games. Oh, hope it helps you. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.